final block handover is here, which culminates years of hard work by countless numbers of people. Construction's 100% complete, and now it's over to the asset, and actually starting to run this fantastic project and actually start to sell polyethylene. And the team has done amazingly well to get here. What we've accomplished in a journey from 2014 to here we are in 2022, 100% construction complete is just absolutely incredible. It's taken more than eight years of hard work together to achieve this important milestone. This plan has opened up job and economic opportunities throughout this entire region. Do you really need to step back and just appreciate, you know, what this site looked like before everybody came here and changed it. Everything built up in that short time frame, it's, it's really unbelievable. There's a lot of stuff in this project that's because of the size of the project we were able to do. It's like one of the biggest cranes in the world here. We installed for the first time a six-leg reactor in one piece using that crane. We had over 760,000 engineering documents to design so that we could build to this plant. And then we had engaged over 200 worldwide vendors to actually fabricate and deliver all the materials for us. The first challenge is building a mega project, and, and every mega project is, is hugely challenging. Even more so when you build a mega project in the middle of record employment. Just finding the craft and the people to do it, that's another massive challenge. All sorts of things that happened over the last years. So there was the high water on the Ohio River and the low water on the Ten Tom. There was the freezing weather, the steel tariffs, and the huge challenge of COVID. It's the team that's managed to get through and persevere through all of these obstacles. And without all the people here, we couldn't have actually achieved what we've achieved today. It's a tremendous achievement to get to this point on any project. On this project, the one team approach has been crucial in safely building the largest construction site in North America. PenChem has become the poster child project when it comes to care for people. And that's true for the Shell portfolio, but also for the Bechtel portfolio projects. There is a long list of good practices that both companies want to replicate in their future projects. Safety and care for people is a core value for the Pennsylvania Chemicals Project. And the project won two awards for safety. From Shell, it was the Chief Executives Award, where the project was selected and was the winner from over 400 nominations. And in Bechtel, Pennsylvania Chemicals Project was awarded the Environment, Safety and Health Project of the Year. You got to remember the importance of this project. I mean, not just for Shell, not just for our stockholders. I mean, everybody in the world is watching this project and there haven't been projects built in the Northeast United States like this for a incredibly long time. The way we came together and integrated the collective best of all of us really delivered a tremendous result. We're 100% construction complete, but we're not finished yet. To win, we've got to produce those polyethylene pellets. So that's the next challenge in front of us, getting through all these key CSU milestones. And the team is coming together. You see that one team collaboration to really, okay, what's left to do? Let's get clear, let's get after it. In the end, it's really just about people and teamwork, you know, taking the problem and attacking it together. Every single day I learn from my peers and they learn something from me. We really pulled together and we helped each other out. This job has really made a difference in my life. I'm so proud to be a part of it. Every single person has contributed to building what we see today. However small, however big, it's what you've done that's really made the difference.